So I had a very embarrassing moment happen to me recently. I was at a conference and, and leading up to that conference, I was very, very keen on trialing out a new thing that I've been focusing on, something I've been focusing quite heavily on actually, and that was around the time limit that I had to deliver my idea to somebody, whether it be kind of your elevator pitch mode, 15 minute, 20 minute kind of cup of coffee mode or your full fledged presentation. I was really focusing on what stories, what problems, how am I going to push what I've got to say into the time limit that I've got, the content and the time limit. And especially leading into a conference, it's very important to nail those three things because really, if I can do the five minute pitch really, really well, then it's probably going to end up in, a, in an hour long presentation with that individual. So nevertheless, I went out and as every salesperson should do at a conference, I found the individual myself, brought them back to the booth. I didn't let the booth do the work. I did the work, got them back to the booth. That's kind of a little, little tip bit there for conferences, but I was super excited. I had a senior member of an international sporting federation in the booth and I was right, I've got five minutes with this guy, let's rock. Got into it, super pumped, super excited, and within 30 seconds to a minute, he said, whoa, 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 settle down. I, I don't even know who you are. And that's when I kind of had a, a stark reality check. I was doing what a lot of young people do. We're very, very excited about the new thing that we we're focusing on. And I was really, really, really excited to nail down, okay, the time limit and the content. Let's shove that in there. Let's go, let's, let's make this five minute pitch perfect, or let's make this 15 minute pitch perfect the way that I had thought about it. But after that realization, um, uh, I looked back on it and I, I realized a couple of things. Firstly, I hadn't had much experience speaking to such a senior member of an organization before, at least at that time. A C-suite executive. I hadn't really spoken to many of those individuals, so I didn't know how to speak to those individuals at that time. And I thought, let's take this even further. And from there, I've actually written down all the different personality types or the personas that I'm actually going to speak to on a broad level within my organization and within my industry. And I've come across six different personalities, six different personas that there are to speak to. So now it's no longer three different types of pitches. It's actually 18 different types of pitches on a broad level, three different pitches for each personality type. And I think it's a very important lesson that I learned that day and it can be applicable to anywhere in business as a young person. It could be you're, you're presenting, not so much presenting a, a sale or, or a new piece of technology into their world, you're presenting an idea. Maybe you're presenting an idea to a coworker on changing something around the office or maybe you're presenting something to the boss onto how you guys can potentially do something different within your organization or your boss's boss, something that's more company-wide as an idea. You need to make sure to do what I didn't do that day and that was worry about the context first, the person, and then go time limit and then go content. That day uh, I was too focused on the time limit and the content. I didn't take a big step back. I didn't identify the context before I started applying the time limit and the content to the idea that I was about to pitch. I think it's a very important lesson that I learned that day.